Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. There is a sweet anointing in There is a still in the atmosphere Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary, God is here. That's already a prophetic word for someone tonight. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary. For in the sanctuary. For in the sanctuary. God, you are here and we thank you. Change our lives tonight in the name of Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Um, I have a very serious word for us tonight. It's, it's actually an explanation where to start a new series but the spirit of God would not let me start a new series there is a key that I taught in this place that the Lord wants me to teach it again because we need to understand it again and again the Holy Spirit kept pressing on my spirit that we ought to understand some mysteries must be taught again and again and again until our spirits speak them are we together the end of revelation is that we apply these truths and they produce results in our lives and so i'm going to be challenging us on that thought and then we will pray one of the greatest prayers you can pray as a believer is that the eyes of your understanding truly be enlightened are we together? The eyes of your understanding is not intelligence. The eyes of your understanding is not intellect. The eyes of your understanding is not philosophical knowledge. The eyes of your understanding is access to the mysteries of the spirit alongside their operation. You can know that these mysteries exist. You see, revelation is not knowing what God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Knowing what God has said is not revelation. 
when you know how to make it work in your life he told job nowhere thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth amen it's important that when we come into god's presence we listen you will think that when people come into god's presence like this the fact that you are looking at me it doesn't mean you are listening are we together people can be distracted people can be careless some can be looking with their eyes open but they are sleeping are we together all kinds of things happen it was jesus himself that told us what happened to seeds some fall by the wayside correct seed correct sower some fall by the wayside some fall in the midst of thorns some fall on a rocky ground even among the good soils three kinds of results 30 fold 60 fold 100 fold may you be a hundred fold tonight in the name of jesus christ a day will come in your life where you would have sufficiently gained access to the mysteries of the kingdom alongside the keys that release their power and let me tell you when that time comes you will be nothing short of a wonder everybody around you will know that the finger of god is upon your life we make impact in this world through mysteries we make impact in this world not through desire it takes more than desire to make true impact for the kingdom i'll share a thought with us and then we'll walk on a scripture and then we'll pray hallelujah i shared with us here for those of us who were not here please listen attentively and by the way those following us online we love you we honor you you are part of us that there are three platforms upon which impact is established please listen when god is ready to reveal himself to a man when god is ready to do business with a man upon the earth there are only three platforms as revealed from scripture upon which that man will access capacity to make impact platform number one encounters don't forget this they are not cheap they are not basic at all encounters the first platform that grants a man access to walk with god is encounter everybody say encounter encounters are very very important because they birth spiritual realities in our spirit by encounters i don't just mean visionary encounters even encounters through the word an experience that makes god real to you an experience that makes a dimension of god real to you it could be aided through a vision it could be aided through a supernatural experience but regardless of what platform it comes through any experience capable of making a dimension of god become real to you is called an encounter true encounters produce conviction not memory conviction a true encounter listen it doesn't just leave you with a memory it produces conviction if you tell me you've had an encounter with a dimension of god i will know i don't care whether you claim you had a vision or a scripture opened up to you when it is opened up to you the first time that you had an encounter is unusual conviction it translates to faith if god gives you an encounter of his healing power it produces conviction if god gives you an encounter of a dimension of spiritual reality it must come with conviction say conviction there are so many people in the body of christ who are not convicted about the things they teach it's one thing to teach from a theological standpoint and that's important it's one thing to teach from a sociological standpoint but it's one thing to teach from a depth of conviction it's not by shouting it's not the volume of your voice 
It's not the, the repetition of your grammar. Conviction is a realm where you're speaking, your listeners know that the things you are saying are true with you. Say encounters. We must crave for encounters. You know, people who don't really understand this thing think that all we are advocating is that people begin to have out-of-body experiences. And they begin to propose as though you are telling people to not pay attention to the word of God. To now begin to contend for angelic encounters, heavenly encounters as above the word of God. No. The Bible says God appeared um, to Samuel in Shiloh by his word are we together he appeared by his word so an encounter doesn't necessarily mean until you see an angel and he says promise i was sent from heaven to you that from today you take the healing power of god to the nations and then every time you stand you say i remember what the angel said yes that's an encounter but there are men like reinhard bonke who had encounters they never had any visionary experience when you listen to Reinhard Bonke's story, he will tell you that a day came, they brought in a great man of God to preach. The man preached the first day and told all the sick people to come by the second day. And the morning of the second day, Reinhard Bonke was excited because they were going to wheel all kinds of sick people. In Africa, if you tell people to bring the sick, they are obedient. They will bring the sick. Whether they are related to them or not, they will. That sense of nationhood will kick in. They will drag every sick person, and so they brought those people. And the preacher told Reinhard Bonke, he said, "The Lord told me to pack up my things and get out of this place. You will preach and you will heal." Reinhard Bonke said, "No, no, 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 no. You can't be playing. I mean, you are the great man of God. I'm only here to encourage you." And he said, "I'm sorry, I have to be on my way." Reinhard Bonke said he cried and cried because his ministry was about to be shredded into pieces. And then all of a sudden, that's an encounter. The word of the Lord comes. You don't read it. It comes. In the fifth day of the fifth month of this, the word of the Lord came. There's the one you try to get. But the one that comes is what produces encounter. And Renard Bonke just looked and said, Lord, I will go and do the preaching and you will do the healing. And that was it. A man who has produced a ministry that has liberated Africa encounters you can be reading a scripture you can be reading john 3 16 but one day the word of the lord will come to you for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him when that encounter comes you can sing songs like yes jesus loves me you sang it in Sunday school. It was not an encounter. It was a recitation. But when it comes as an encounter, you will sing that song and you are crying and somebody looks at you and says, ah, ah, you are deeper than this. And he said, that's the point. It has not come to you, but it came to me. Are we together? Encounters. My life is a testimony of encounters. I can point to you exact periods in my life where certain things happen that birthed certain convictions that have been responsible for releasing certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities may god give us encounters the meeting is called koinonia and the first thing you should get is an encounter if you are a prayer leader without an encounter a pastor without an encounter an apostle a prophet whatever you call yourself a time will come your lack of assurance will become evident to those you are leading are we together it's not by bold face bold face is not encounter i know god will show up please encounters produce convictions unto death but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded say god give me encounters say it again god give me encounters you believe God has called you into the ministry of kingdom wealth. But you are not sure. You don't have encounters. So you are hoping you will be rich to prove to people that you were called into the ministry of kingdom financing. 
you lack encounters. Listen, an encounter makes your conviction as your primary evidence, not physical results. Your conviction becomes your primary evidence. So God can call you to the nations. As at the time you are speaking, the only other listener is your wife. But you still say, God called me to the nations. I love men of convictions. Conviction. Conviction. We, we live in a result-driven, a carnal result-driven generation where until you produce physical results that can be seen, people oftentimes will not believe you. So you will need encounters, let me tell you. So that when things do not happen the way you want, you are still left with your encounter. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I know him. The God in the mountain is still God in the valley. Let me tell you why many people gas out. Many pastors, many preachers. I've seen a lot of preachers say, God sent me to so-so-so city. When the city became too hot and whipped them, they left quietly. Encounters give you stamina. Encounters give you stamina. Encounters give you stamina. He said, if you turn aside in the day of battle, he said, your strength is small. One guy came and met me one time and he said, God has called him into the apostolic ministry. I said, congratulations. A few months later, it became too hot for him. And he came back, he said, I get it now. I'm an evangelist. I said, go. I told him, I said, go for a retreat. A retreat that produces an encounter. Because he thought it's just in a name. Usually when it becomes too hot, people change. Persecution. <laughs> we think the name will give you access for preaching fast. So you say, I am prophet A and B and C. And then the heavy controversy that lands on your head, you quietly remove it and say, I am Pastor Joshua Selman. <laughs> say encounters. May God give us encounters. Amen. One big secret in my life is that God used encounters to convince me of my call. Solid encounters. Both visionary encounters, word encounters, prophetic encounters that's why no matter what anybody says or does i will never even pray about it that's how certain i am when you try to explain things to people you don't have conviction enough please talk to someone by your side and say get conviction get conviction strong conviction are we together strong conviction we doubt and we fall by the wayside and we make a mess of and you know it's a terrible thing to brag so much before people and then you are now forced to defend your advocacy but the encounter that will sponsor your confidence is not there if i believe god has called me to carry the healing anointing and there are hundred wheelchairs and i pray for them and nobody gets healed I tell them, may God bless you and uh, have a nice day. And I'll go to sleep. And someone says, but man of God, ah, it's either you are backsliding or something has happened. I will go back and challenge myself to rise greater. But I will not go back saying, God, if it's that I didn't hear you well, can you explain to me again? No. We're laughing, but I, I'm trusting that God is speaking to us. Encounters. Do you know that the world follows men of conviction? If I am a thief today, there is a, there is a certainty about my stealing that will force you to say, look, this guy knows what he's doing. He's worth hearing. Terrorists are men of encounter and conviction. They have met spirits. The spirits told them certain things. So while the government is trying to advise them and say, why don't you become nice social beings? They say, all of you are confused and we are out to kill you and bomb you. And you say, are you sure you'll do this? Yes. What of your life? What of your wife and your family? And they say, to hell with them. Conviction from an encounter. 
what encounter do you have that sponsors your confidence oh i saw god give a jimmy this it's not enough reason you must have a personal encounter we lack this a lot i'm taking out time to help you understand this we lack this a lot in the body of christ you can borrow joshua selman's revelation listen to one koinonia message and just write everything out and preach in a conference and say god said there is this and that and that but you know there is a way people look through you and they see that even you as you are preaching you are just saying lord i hope i'm right i'm about to pray joshua selman prayed after that message and now i'm about to pray after my own then you stand and speak and say i see angels everywhere whether or not you are seeing them because you thought i was lying so now you say i see angels overflow are you ready say yes no encounter that's how preachers disgrace themselves convention after convention till everybody in your circle stops bringing you for meetings because you have a track record of copying with no results someone can guide you but the ultimate journey is that you meet christ you meet him not just theologically but you have an encounter say amen, amen. it's good to know the god of joshua selman but stay until that god becomes your god the people told the woman the the samaritan woman he said we believe you now not just because you told us we have seen him for ourselves you came and introduced us but ah talking with him he did something to us in the name of jesus may god give us encounters over your business over your life over your family so that when you go and you look at your cgpa and you look at it from 4.5 god forbid but you drop to 3.5 and you see three carryovers you don't suddenly say ah and god said i'll be a leader god you must come and you see some prayers are, are revelations of the doubts you've been nursing for many years so what you have feared secretly now comes upon you and you say god but you told me now you told me eh? you told me that this brother will marry me this one that he has done introduction what are you saying don't make noise until you have the burning bush experience we brag too much on hearsay i watch preachers talk sometimes and i'm saying be careful oh jesus is lord but his lordship is exercised with wisdom and understanding If you are not healed in this meeting except i'm not called hey at the end of the meeting only two people are healed encounters encounters i crave for them i create the atmosphere for them i desire them in my life encounters it's not about reading the bible genesis to revelation it's not about quoting scripture as important as it is it's not about a display of greek and hebrew words encounters produce convictions convictions produce faith faith moves mountains it's not what you do is the conviction behind what you do number two the second platform upon which men do business with god is a comprehension or access to the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom an encounter is one you meet a person in an encounter but you must comprehend the principles of the kingdom is god helping us tonight your knowledge of the principles the working knowledge of the principles of the word of god is another platform for you to activate a life and a destiny of impact so what principles do you know it says and i will give you the keys right and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven king james says whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven 
amplified says whatever you allow whatever you disallow the power to release realities and the power to close doors is called the key of david your life there is a dimension of impact in your life hear me brothers and sisters that is a product of the mysteries that you know this is what i define as dominion you've heard me say it again and again dominion is not an impartation dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom we've spent this year as much as many other years dissecting these mysteries under the teaching secrets of the kingdom the series get it secrets of the kingdom right i taught you six mysteries that control mighty dramatic manifestations upon the earth mystery number one i taught you is the law of surrender the law of surrender that this is the mystery that holds the key to unusual amounts of unction upon the lives of people complete surrender complete surrender mystery number two is the power of a transformed mind for as he thinketh in his heart right so he's so he is i told you realities are first formed in the realm of the spirit before they find expression in the physical realm so you never try to change anything by physically trying to alter it you alter it from the realm of the spirit and it changes mystery number three is the law of competence seest thou a man diligent in his business he says he shall not stand before mean men he shall stand before kings are we together we we did this very very mystery number four i explained to you the secret of coming out of situations that are about to swallow you in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path that's what the bible says he said trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding a time must come in a man's life where you face challenges that are bigger than your current level of exposure you don't know anything about that challenge know how to go out at that time the key is to acknowledge him he says in all thy ways acknowledge him praise is a weapon for acknowledgement so as you begin to acknowledge him there is a promise attached he said he will make straight your path mystery number five is the mystery i call it the irrefutable mystery of destiny helpers men and women anointed commanded instructed to appear in your destiny and take you to the next level i'm doing a recap it, it, please I, I don't know how to plead with you believe what i'm teaching you and understand it and you will change your life there are three kinds of destiny helpers i shared with us the other time number one they are called divine connectors they do not have the ability to help you but they can link you to where your help is divine connectors number two men of influence they have the capacity both the economic power both the governmental power right the intellectual prowess to endorse you and open up doors for you an example of such a person is joseph of arimathea a man who through his influence jesus was ordered to come down from the cross and buried in a tomb you need them and then number three faithful men the third kind of destiny helpers faithful men 400 of these men came to david david was running he was a failure he was broke he was on his way ministry had packed up but 400 men came and they entered a covenant with themselves to be loyal to him until he became king and then the last mystery which in my opinion is the most powerful maybe secondary to only an encounter is the law of honor hebrews 7 7 and without all contradiction the less is blessed of the greater i told you that there is a system in the body of christ nobody blesses himself you cannot lift yourself to a new dimension are we together 
no matter how anointed you are no matter how great you are at every point in your life there are people below you trusting god for your grace to lift them there are people above you there are those who already represent what your future aspirations are and there are people who you represent their future aspiration the recognition of that is the key to living where you are to the next level you ignore the law of honor you will pay for it dearly you ignore the law of honor you will pay for it dearly there are human beings that represent systems the recognition of what they represent alongside the possibilities god has opened unto them will bring you into their realm of reality honor is the key to access every time a door closes over your life this honor closed it and every time a door opens over you honor opened it so there are many other mysteries that we have to learn i can teach you mystery upon mystery upon mystery one of it is he that wants friends must first show himself friendly now you read these things as verses until god opens your eyes then you'll see the reason why many people never have the gift of men because they are not friendly to be friendly does not mean to be a clown to be friendly means to be hospitable are we together it says that you neglect not being hospitable for in it many have entertained angels unaware it was through hospitality sarah trapped the angels and they gave a revelation about the inevitable doom of sodom and gomorrah and it was on the strength of that hospitality that abraham was given access to that mystery and with it he rescued lot praise the lord the third platform upon which men receive from god and create lives of notable impact in the earth is covenant connection covenant connection covenant connection may god make us believe what i'm sharing may god make us believe it may god make us believe it in the name of jesus christ covenant connection the bible speaking about men and describing the nature and the character of their success says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sit in the sin the seat of the scornful he says but his delight what is in the law of the lord and on that law he meditates day and night then he says he shall be this is how his success will be in the similitude of that of a tree if the bible says you shall be like something study that thing it says the success of a believer will be like that of a tree how does a tree rise number one it is planted from the stem that rises branches begin to come all branches do not move in the same direction but regardless of their direction the strength of the branches are determined by the strength of the vine that they are connected to they may face different directions and the trees can grow so tall taller than buildings and the trees can stand for years and decades branches fall and rise they are pruned and they come again but the stem connected to the root remains intact any branch that cuts itself outside of the vine dies you don't water the branches you water the roots and it has a system are we together trying to pour water on leaves is a waste of time a system so he said he shall be like a tree listen our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant please you have to understand this our personal work with god is based on relationship however kingdom advancement is based on covenants not the covenant of moses not the covenant of the new testament i'm not talking old and new covenant a covenant is a system through which god guarantees a continuity of his program 
Now listen, listen, look up please. Let me teach you this. Get it, get it in the name of Jesus Christ. The way the kingdom works is through the principle of covenant and alignment. Please listen. So what happens is that every dispensation has a dimension of spiritual realities that they should experience which is part of the ongoing unfolding of the multifaceted dimension of God. Are we together? So every dispensation has a dimension of God earmarked for them to experience. But the nature and the character of that revelation is such that when God wants to come in in a dimension to a territory and a dispensation, his first assignment is to find a man. Say a man. When he finds a man, he enters a personal covenant with that man. That personal covenant becomes the platform upon which that dimension of God is revealed to the dispensation. No other person will access that dimension in that dispensation out of alignment to the person in covenant with God. Are you getting what I'm saying? God will not reveal the same thing to everybody. He will reveal the same thing to one person and direct every other person who wants to experience that part of him to align with the covenant that he has had upon that man or upon that system. Are we together? The yardstick that he uses to bring men to that experience is called an election of grace. It has nothing to do necessarily with their personal yieldedness. It is part of his sovereignty and his predeterminate counsel. So God calls men. Every time you are talking about redemption, the journey of redemption and the doctrine of Christ starts from Abraham, not Noah, not Adam. Are we together? Whether it's Christianity, whatever kind of religion, the moment they are communicating the doctrine of Christ, the genesis of the blueprint of the doctrine of Christ starts from Abraham. God called one man to come out of a place called Or of the Chaldeans, Genesis chapter 12. Right? He wanted to use his father, Terah, but something happened. And he, the, the, you know, the baton passed on to Abraham and he called Abraham an idol worshiper out of all of the Chaldeans and he called him and he said look I am calling you out come out of your father's house your kindred and all of that and I will do certain things with you and Abraham obeyed him there are so many people in the Bible that represents God's covenant point they are portals that open their dispensation and their generations to certain dimensions of God that law did not die with the coming and the going of Jesus Christ. There are still men today that represents new dimensions of God or continuity of his program. Hmm. Are we together? Alongside your encounter, alongside your comprehension of the laws of the spirit, your covenant connection to men or systems that represent the continuity of God in that dimension but this is where Satan cheats a lot of people please listen to me carefully this is something else I'm talking about but we need to understand this God asked me to reiterate these things you know why we honor men we honor men for many reasons. Number one is the anointing they carry. Number two, the sacrifice that they have with God that has brought certain levels of possibilities in their life. Number three is the spiritual system that they represent. When David wanted permission to fight Goliath, do you know the question Saul asked? He said, whose son is this? In other words, I want to know the tribe he came from so that I know whether this can be possible. This boy is too young. I'm a king. But I need to know where he's coming from. So we can trace the history of the spiritual deposits God left with that tribe. And when they found out that David was of the Benjamite, he said, go and fight. David came to him and he said, Goliath, I know you think I'm a small boy. But there is a tribe standing before you, not a person. Watch what happens to you now. Goliath said, am I a dog? David said, we will we'll see who, who is the dog. I have seen people in my life who never become billionaires, but they never lack, whether they pray or not, even when they are not tithing. 
it's a covenant there is something they are connected to whether they know it or not that affords them those spiritual possibilities open our eyes oh god in the name of jesus christ i have seen pastors who when they stand to teach you will almost sleep but when they call upon the god of heaven he shows up it's not personal encounter in fact many of them may have a lot of character defaults and while you are talking about their character it's like god owes them his presence they call him and he must show up there is a covenant he respects he says my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from my mouth are we together so some of our people although they were in the village with witchcraft they had 16 children one woman 16 children and yet after 16 children the woman is still standing her stomach is still as flat as an arrow you wonder whether the children grew in a basket it's a covenant brothers and sisters it's not about knowing what drug to take some things are spiritual when they are spiritual they show and you see it do you believe what i'm teaching you hmm. oh you better believe it so that when you look at a man you know that not every result you see was initiated by his personal altar when you know that there will be no room for pride when god begins to give you result because you will know that certain dimensions of your result are purely an issue of alignment purely an issue of what alignment spiritual alignment There was a time for instance in living faith it still happens where there were strange testimonies 2005 2006 creative those ones were is what the bible calls the walking of miracles not testimonies where a man would tell you i was a cleaner and by sunday the owner of the company said he's leaving nigeria and they made me a ceo strange testimonies So you see somebody who drag himself and he's sleeping while they are preaching sleeping they say in jesus name he never says amen he's even angry but something still came on him with the anger he turns and he leaves and goes back and the landlord says you are staying five years in this house the rent is is free and the man says i don't understand what is happening to me two weeks later they call him and say there is a job we want to give you and he says i don't understand there is a covenant when god looks at you he sees the covenant There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. if you know this thing i'm teaching you you can you can make it's not a license to sin you can make the worst blunder on earth quarter to shame the covenant kicks in and god says i remember <sighs> jonah jonah was running as a rebel but god used what happened to describe what will happen to jesus jonah he says the same way jonah was in the belly of the fish was that a good testimony yet jesus used it god had solomon for the sake of his father david when solomon dedicated the temple he lifted the temple and he said lord i enter a covenant with you that whoever faces this temple and pray whether their faith level is there or not hearken to them so in the days of daniel they signed a policy and they said nobody should pray daniel knew that if he will use his personal faith he's a human being the truth about it is that it was not just his personal spiritual life so he opened the window to jerusalem and he started praying and listen that was why he was sure when they were about to throw him in the lion's den god did not show up because of daniel he showed up because of the covenant what have you enjoyed in your life 
because of covenant connection some of us every good thing that has happened to you has come because of your your personal push which is good but brothers and sisters the demand that life will place on you will be greater than your spiritual life and if you have to wait till you become strong you may not even live for that to happen there are people in koinonia here they are not tightening, but they are having strange results they even them they are doubting they are saying what's wrong something is covering you it's a covenant break every chain break every chain those who know this do business with god upon the earth and open strange doors strange doors strange doors living faith redeemed and mfm there are three ministries that have seen them with such a strange covenant of of ownership they can enter any land regardless of the vow the government made not to give them land they must give them land as much as they want it's a revelation are we together brothers and sisters some things are not just about fasting and prayer there is an advantage god placed in the body and if you are not aware of it you may never step into certain dimensions never step into certain dimensions i came to show you certain things god said i should teach it again if god says i should teach it it means many of us did not get it there are certain things in my life i will i will never suffer and struggle over i'm, I'm not i'm not that foolish i am not that foolish you see it's a painful thing when you are suffering certain things that is available by covenant to the tribe you belong to break every chain break every chain break every chain break every chain Elijah was a man who had a covenant with God that represented the system of the prophetic and the apostolic he had other sons called the sons of the prophet is that true but he had a strange man who was a farmer called elisha elisha was not a prophet elisha was a farmer he casted his mantle upon him and elisha started following him join other prophets listen and then the bible says a time came when elijah elijah was about to go to heaven is that a normal human being is that how you go to heaven but that's how he went to heaven that's how you know that it's not a normal human being he knew where the gate of heaven was beyond the jordan he said i'm about to leave he knew where to wait for the chariots ah. a man was taking fresh air on a mountain and they came to harass him he used one of the elements of the supernatural called fire he said i will not just use my mouth if i be a man of god let fire come from heaven he prayed once and fire came is that how you pray when you stand there? look at what he, he, hi koinonia hear what i'm teaching you listen when they were about to judge the prophets of baal there are some dimensions of witchcraft that is your covenant of connection that dislodges them not just your personal prayer and fasting when the prophets of baal were there they were prophets under the custody of jezebel and look at the mockery Elijah said laugh he said he said cut yourself shout maybe your God is sleeping like, if I am Elijah I will be fasting <laughs> deliver me oh God wipe my tears for the sake of your glory I will be writing out the worship songs looking for somebody to play a cymbal but here was a man crossing his leg and mocking at them from morning till evening he laughed because he knew they were wasting their time after everything they caught themselves so that their god will see blood and remember their covenant with him when they tried singing and praising and it did not work they danced around the prophets of Baal. they started bringing blood what is blood the covenant Baal, remember our covenant as prophets with you and elijah shut the heavens and said keep calling on him then when it was time for elijah i thought elijah would have just said all right god fire come down he would have been surprised he said give me 12 stones 12 stones listen listen let me teach you something the bible says in the new jerusalem 
he said the gates of the city there were 12 gates and the gates had a name of the 12 tribes of israel every one of those tribes represented a dimension of god and 12 foundations having the name of the apostles he said give me 12 stones and the prophets of Baal were watching after it he put a sacrifice and then he said pour water the water was a mystery he was not just trying to say so that you don't think i hit fire because there are three forces that open the gates in this earth realm the spirit the water and the blood so he said pour water afterwards he lifted his eyes to the heaven the pattern was correct follow me and he said oh god and the fire the bible said the fire came licked the sacrifice and swept everything right and then hear what he said the moment that happened he said pursue all the prophets of Baal don't let one escape and kill them hear me people of God there are dimensions there are kinds of mountains that were never designed to be approached alone we fool ourselves thinking because we know God every mountain will just go like that he said, all things are possible but they are they are possible based on the knowledge available to you if you can see me as i'm going you will have something the moment he left and he held the mantle he would have gone to the well and say i am a man of god pat he would have been surprised he said where is the lord god as far as god was concerned he did not see elisha he saw the covenant did the water obey absolutely do you know why joshua was successful god transferred a mystery to him as i was with moses as i was the way i related with him so i will relate with you he said and because of that no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life so when the angel appeared joshua removed his knife and he was going to kill the angel the angel had to explain he would have died the word of God would have killed the angel. Not the sword of Joshua. He said, are you for us or against us? And the angel said, hold on. Neither. He had to explain. Because a man was running with the word of God. The Bible says, for instance, it says where two or three are gathered, where? In my name. The meaning is as touching my authority. There is a dimension of God that only shows up on that corporate fellowship you will never have that dimension alone in your room fast for 100 days you will not see those things that was why the psalmist was crying he said early will i seek you he said to see your power and your glory in my life as i have seen in the sanctuary there's something i've seen that only happens when believers gather i've not seen it can you make it happen in my life hallelujah he says if two of you shall agree hold my hands Jimmy, as touching anything there are certain levels of prayer that is not just about i am alone the veil has been torn I, I'm, I'm alone i can access christ it's a system there are certain levels of difficulty that when two or three agree you can just say one prayer that was why the apostles when they were threatening them did they pray individually Acts chapter 4. Remember they came together because they understood this. It took that kind of grace to bring the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. They could not pray alone and have the Holy Spirit come. So when the Bible says Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Now when the day of Pentecost was fully come. It said they were all gathered in one accord. That formation gave the Holy Spirit room to come. In Acts chapter 4 when they threatened them. They came together and said, Lord, behold their threatenings. He says, stretch forth your right hand now to heal. And that signs and wonders be wrought through your holy child. And the building shook. There is a difference between your personal prayer life and the body of Christ. The body of Christ is a mystery of possibilities. When you understand the mysteries that govern the body of Christ, you will do things that you will never imagine you would have done. Are we together? I remember when a few people wrote jam here. You were 
you were testaments of the things marks being added i'm not talking of those 40 40 marks you see people someone will check his job 197 go and check again 231 how did that happen look let me tell you something when you see a man of god study the systems around his life don't just say this person is anointed Kai, he has power what makes the heaven owe him it's like it's like god god owes certain men of god a debt he must pay even if they call his name joking he has to show up there is something that makes that happen my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god our covenant is calling you oh god take my praise oh god take my praise oh god sing it one more time my altar, my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar, my altar is calling you, oh God. It's calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Listen. Let me tell you something powerful. Numbers 24. Let me do my teaching now. Mike. Numbers 24. Let me share something with you that will break some gates open. I want your spirit to be sensitive. Something will happen in this place today. Numbers 24. Balaam was called by Balak to curse the nation of Israel. I've shared it here. The Lord asked me to repeat it, so I'm repeating it. Now listen. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, it's actually 23, 24. I'm jumping for time's sake. Follow the story. He went not as in other times to seek for enchantment. Now, there's a lot to say about Balaam. The Bible talks about the doctrine of Balaam, the error of Balaam, the way of Balaam. There is a long story on that. I don't want to go into that. But he set his face towards the wilderness. Let's rush it. Go ahead. And Balaam lifted his eyes. Balaam wanted to find out where... Listen, listen. Let me explain the whole scene for you. A prophet is brought by Balak and he said, Cause koinonia. Make things to start going wrong for people. Are we together? Now, Balaam tells them, Look, oh, I am a prophet. In other words, I don't speak the way I want. So as we stand here, whatever you hear me say is what God is saying. Agreed? They said agreed. So they brought gifts. Balaam would have sought God by lifting his face to the hills. That's the key. Sammy said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. They know where their help comes from. But now Balaam used enchantment so that God would not be able to prophesy through him. Are you getting the story? He used divination to invoke spirits so that they would prophesy. So Balaam stood and after he used those enchantments, he was about to curse and his mouth produced blessings. And he was surprised. He moved to another place again and used invocations about to speak and he blessed them. He went to another place about to speak and he blessed them. And Balaam said, ah. Balak was angry. And he said, what is all this? I brought you to curse them. All that has been coming out of your mouth is blessings. Please watch this. And Balaam lifted his eyes to check. They were on a mountain. And he said, no, I'm a prophet. Let me look. What is the reason why no curse is working? And this is what he saw. Hallelujah. And he saw Israel abiding in what his tents there was a spiritual formation from the valley israel were wise people they didn't just say let's rest they said ah, 
it is possible that the kings will come and destroy us so let us engage the formation there is a pattern mm. they arrange themselves according to their tribes with the ark of god being at the center and they said let's see who will cause us they kept the card game so when balaam stood at the mountain to cause the ark fought him back and he said i don't know what is wrong i can't cause them i can't cause them then listen to what he said according to their stripes and finally the spirit of god came upon him this is what he said the secret and he took a parable that's how prophets remember hosea chapter 12 i have spoken in similitudes or parables i have multiplied visions he took a parable and he said balaam the son of beor had said speaking about himself and the man whose eyes are open talking about himself had said verse 4 and he had said which heard the words of god which saw the visions of the almighty falling into a trance but having his eyes open verse 5 how goodly are thy tents o jacob and thy tabernacles o israel that's the secret i look at your tent and your spiritual formation and I see you arranged in a way that no cause, no enchantment. That's why he said no divination, no enchantment against Jacob. It's not just because they are Christians. Please listen to what I'm teaching you now. There was a spiritual pattern. And literally, Bala, as a true prophet, could not cause them. They didn't fight. They just could not cause them when it was 10 in 2nd in Chronicles 20 verse 20 or well we read from verse 15 downwards if there's time they were about to fight three kings came together to fight them and the Bible said they had another formation Kai. these guys used formations for victory not stories they inquired of the Lord what pattern will produce the result and they said let the worshippers be in front and when the worshippers were in front together with the ark the warriors were behind he said this is not an issue of sword and they began to sing hearken all judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem and thou king jehoshaphat thus saith the lord be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but the lord's let's read down quickly tomorrow go up against them and so on and so forth 17. listen he said ye shall not what set yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the lord O judah and jerusalem fear not or be dismayed tomorrow you go up against them verse and joseph had bowed his head this and that and that verse 19 there's something i'm looking for now listen and the levites and the children of the Kohathites and of the children of all of those people stood up to what praise the lord of the lord god of israel with a loud voice on high right and then of course they rose early in the morning and then when they began to praise you know a prophecy came next verse it says and when he had consulted the people he appointed what look at the formation who did he appoint do you use musicians to fight war musicians to fight war three kings about to kill you i hope you know they were not acting it was real death but there was a pattern he says and they should praise the beauty of his holiness and as they went out before the army and to say praise the lord for his mercy endured forever what happened and when they began to sing and to praise the lord set ambushment against the children of ammon moab and mount seir which were come against judah and were smitten next verse for the children of this stood up to slay themselves read the last sentence if you're a christian want to read everyone help to destroy military people killing themselves there were two left and he said who dies first say you he now killed the other person and killed himself while they were doing that other people were there invoking a pattern listen there's something i teach the school of ministry students called the reflection principle listen i want to teach you something very powerful it's a principle that is used in occultism it's a principle that is used it was an an aberration of god's principle listen 
you only host a spirit and a dimension of the possibility of a spirit if you create the atmosphere for that spirit to feel at home as though it were in its primary place of habitation are you getting what i'm saying so if the ambassador of u.s comes to the u.s consulate office in abuja it was designed to accommodate him his appetites the colors the architecture are we together there is a pattern based on the ideology of the united states they built the embassy that way so whether he is in nigeria or he's in america it does not make any difference to him because the embassy in nigeria reflects the dexterity and the glory of america are we together now watch this if i want a spirit any spirit please give me this sir. sorry no if i want a spirit assuming i'm a herbalist i am not a herbalist assuming i'm a herbalist are we together and i want a spirit to come upon this i'm not just going to say spirit come spirit break out and then you think it will come no there is i must find out what that spirit is and the nature of its operation and the kind of atmosphere that makes it come and i will make this water become like the atmosphere the spirit must come atmospheres are magnets they draw spirits and they draw possibilities to the earth and to territories please listen to this this is very important so this is what the psalmist said the holy ghost wanting to come into the new creation he said a body has thou prepared you prepared it in such a way that when i come into that body it will be as though i am in heaven when the body was prepared the spirit could come and that body today is called the ecclesia the body of christ it was built in a particular way christ the foundation the apostolic and the prophetic and then the, it rises and he said that body you have prepared for me so god is able to function on earth because of the body that has been prepared for him are we together now when during our traditional festivals when they want to see certain spirits what do the masquerades do or the priest they wear a particular attire having a particular kind of animal skin alligator skin then some use snakes some use hyenas come on talk to me africa are we together so we have don't don't act as if you came from 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 the middle east we are here we are home amen they use fire they provoke these spirits they start chanting tongues and start moving in a particular direction they can move here small and come back again they can run and come back while they are doing that someone can be playing drums are we together and then at a particular point the snake will start coming out when the snake starts coming out they start dancing and putting fire because the snake is reflecting what is happening in the realm of the spirit so the gods are now coming the moment that happens what happens it's like people are under the anointing even the priests they are under their anointing they start doing crazy things they took fire in their mouth and nothing happens because a spirit landed let me tell you why it landed there was a pattern i counseled one man um on on tuesday on wednesday in abuja before i came He's one of the popular Nigerian directors, directors of Nigerian film, you know, and all of that. And he told me something. He said, man of God, most of the Nigerian films you see us acting, the snake we use, they are real snakes. But what they do is they go to charmers. You know, these guys are charm snakes. So they give them a particular ring so that they can pick the snake and nothing will happen. The ring has a pattern. It's a language the snake understands. That's why sometimes it backfires because those powers expire they must be renewed if at the point of expiration you are the one holding the snake the snake that you were you were in nice romance with would turn and enjoy you immediately 
Are we together? Patterns. So there are men whose lives are patterns. You curse them, it returns back to you. And you are wondering, see, it is on this basis that you can say, I am uncursable. Now, the problem with the church is we say revelations without, we, we make statements without the spiritual revelation that activates those possibilities. I am uncursable in the name of Jesus. And you find out there's a curse at work in your life. Clearly, everybody knows you are cursed. I am not cursed. You are cursed. We are seeing it. It is on the strength of this. There is a pattern. Don't laugh. Are we together? So someone can vow. Like they vowed to Paul. And they said, Paul, we will not eat nor drink until you, are, until you die. And Paul lived many years afterwards. I'm teaching you something you can do on earth. That is, is like a spiritual formation. That will make the Holy Spirit respond to you in a certain way. And you will see doors open. And you will be wondering what happened. It's a pattern. Balaam stood on the mountain and he saw the pattern. And he said, I can't curse them. I'm trying. I'm making efforts. Listen. I can't tell you how many times on my way to travel. People will call me and say, Apostle, I just had a dream. Are you about to travel? I say yes. They say, please sir, don't travel. I love you so much. Koinonia loves you. I just had a dream this morning. And in that dream, I saw a plot. And I saw that you had a ghastly motor accident. And you died. And then I said, okay, I appreciate. Now, they are not, they are not lying. They saw it. And what they saw was correct. But there is a pattern. Kabarato satayaba. David, I'm come and sing a song there in my spirit. Your influence is all over me, right? I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. And your influence is all over me. Let's say. sit down listen brothers and sisters when it comes to kingdom advancement don't just think of your personal spiritual life alone there are limitations to your personal spiritual life as far as kingdom advance is concerned there are certain strategies of witchcraft that it takes more than you as a person to conquer it's not that Christ is not king of kings and lord of lords please hear me is a law there are formations there are things that have been engaged that requires the strength of the body not your strength alone if you do not understand this you will have a lot of casualties and you will mock yourself spiritual patterns formations that make men forbidable on earth they wanted to curse him just like somebody from your village now wants to curse you 
and you have been saying in the name of Jesus I'm uncursable I agree with you potentially but you have to engage the mystery that makes your word valid otherwise you will be shouting I will not be cursed until they, they, they kill you like a chicken are we together please listen listen there are three of these spiritual patterns that I want you to learn tonight I don't know if we can touch all three but we'll stop somewhere and pray the first of that pattern listen is the power of altars an altar is a pattern I'm not talking altar like coven no an altar is a token that represents a point where covenants are enacted every time a covenant is enacted an altar is raised on earth as a memorial you see that all through in scripture every time people had covenants with God or with themselves they raised what altars an altar is nothing diabolic at all an altar is just a token it's a representation it doesn't even have to be physical a representation please listen a representation a platform that affords covenant to not only be renewed not only be remembered but to be activated three things happen on altars renewal right continuity or servicing if you want to call it and then the third is activation spiritual realities are activated upon altars listen please listen every man of God every true ministry called of God has an altar they may not call it altar they may call it all kinds of things some call it covenant some call it altar I don't care what they call it but this is what it is it is a token that represents a covenant between God and that man and serves as a memorial the altar that was raised in the day of of um, Noah when he raised that altar there was a sign of a rainbow is that true and God gave this as a token when circumcision itself is a token I hope you know when you circumcise a child it's a revelation that was given to Abraham circumcise them Joshua circumcise them the power and the revelation of the patterns that altars create are things we should never take for granted especially in such a wicked world koinonia has an altar you hear us sing that song my it's nothing diabolic i don't mean babala or something no, that's not what i'm talking about as a person there are covenants that i've had through my encounters with god that have become the platforms upon which certain possibilities ride the same way I have gleaned upon the covenant of others with God and it has become an advantage it has boosted my personal spiritual life it has boosted the possibilities that I can see in my own life please hear me and I want you to be sensitive we're about to pray be very sensitive right now when Abel died when Cain killed Abel, what cried? Please answer me, what cried? And he said, the blood of Abel cries and the blood is speaking. Abel is dead. The blood is saying revenge. You have to bring vengeance upon Cain. And Jesus now says that even his blood too speaks 
The only difference is that his blood speaks better things which were predicated on a better covenant. Are we together? There are altars that speak over the lives and the destinies of men. Please listen, listen, listen. I want to give you spiritual intelligence. You don't bind an altar. It was enacted by covenant. It's called the law of displacement. There are two lights. They keep shining until a greater light comes. Then it overshadows them. Are we together? These are spiritual laws. So many people do not know the foundation upon which their predicaments are coming. They think it's just an issue of personal retreat for three days. Have you seen people who are praying and fasting on the last day of the fast? What they were praying against is what happens. Maybe somebody sleeps with you in a dream and you charge and get angry and you go and say, look, three days, I'm praying. On the third day, drive fast. You are looking like a skeleton. You are about to break. You just decided to take a nap for the last 30 minutes. And here the person comes. I said, your prayer made nonsense. In the prayer you are shouting, Jesus, Jesus. And the person is just looking at you. And say, keep shouting your Jesus there. And comes to do exactly what he said to do. You know why I know this thing so well? Because it happened in my life. I've, you've heard my story. Wicked spirits will come and oppress me and come into my room. My own was not even an experience. I see them, they see me, but I couldn't do anything about it. Some of you say, I shouted Jesus, the pastor said, shout it well. You shouted it well, nothing happened. Please, don't laugh. I'm giving you a mystery because we're about to pray. Are we together? We have lost the advantage of the patterns that God gave the body. It's not about an individual's personal success. There are times when the secret to your breakthrough is based on alignment to covenants that God has had. And he will respond to you and have respect for the covenant. Are we together? There are people who have a covenant with God that every time they show up in a city, there must be breakthroughs. So they show up in a city to have a crusade. And when they show up to have a crusade, people who have no business with that crusade receive breakthroughs that have nothing to do with that ministry. Because for as long as that individual is there, that territory has an advantage of tapping into the covenant that he has. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are people who personally, their prayer life is dead. But when they get to the prayer department on Tuesday to pray, you find out that you who was struggling to pray for five minutes, you now stretch for two hours. It's because something picked you. That's why you can go back home and say, ah, ah. So it is God's system to help you so that even when your spiritual life is down, Satan will still not be able to reach you. Before you come back to life, there is a system that covers you. Altars that we can take advantage of. There are men who when they come into a city, you know, everything shakes. It's not by the loudness of the publicity, but they come in with the presence they carry. They come in with the covenants that they carry and you find out that there are strange results, strange testimonies that happen to people and then they leave. We'll find somewhere and stop. I want to pray. My life has changed like day and night because of this truth that I have discovered. I found it as a key because there were certain limitations in my life, though anointed, though a great man of God, though having encounters with Jesus. At a point in my life, there were certain mountains that would not move. There were certain doors that would not open regardless of what I did. And I said, Lord, but your word says, if I have faith like a monster seed, I know that I have faith. And then God began to teach me. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep because they cannot discern the body. Their inability to discern the body that has been prepared to host the spirit. Every 
everything is possible but you need to know how to make it possible you need to know how to make it possible this night looking at me and hearing me by the thousands are men and women who have done certain things alone you have struggled spiritually you love God you have held on to some of these principles but the truth is that door has refused to open you have done what you know to do I show you the third key you must engage it's called the power of alignment to covenants the power of alignment to covenants the power of alignment to covenants God has entered covenants with individuals he has entered covenants with systems please I can beg you some of you are looking for admission listen to what I'm telling you and get into school otherwise sit down there roaming around that you have 230 and repeat the same nonsense that has been going on some things in life will not move just by your personal faith do you know that when Jesus was on earth he was not the only miracle worker please answer me is that true there was a time his disciples saw other people who were not in Jesus's camp but they were still performing miracles not by Baal not Beelzebub and they said ah, Jesus this is this is strange ah, I thought you were the Savior and he said I paraphrase him I came to introduce something new but until the new comes the old is still valid there was a way miracles were done in the old covenant there were people who believed it there was a priesthood that made it possible for instance an angel would come and steer the water was jesus around when it happened no but it happened a particular prophet in the bible when a woman was sick or someone was sick he made herbs leaves and put it on the legs of the person are we together If you understand what I'm teaching you then you will know that when you stand and the mountains look like they are not you have done all you know to do listen stop trying harder the key is not harder the key is step back and look at the body of Christ don't look at yourself again look at the body of Christ what spiritual tribe is connected to the possibility that will open the door I'm looking for you can be a man of God full of grace and prayer but you know that there is no prosperity in your ministry and you are saying Lord we have prayed we have fasted this prosperity thing is not working step back and look at the body of Christ a body has thou prepared for me sometimes God can give you just one instruction go to any living faith branch hold what you have as a seed and go and sow it in that you don't even have to be prayed for the moment you pray for it you go back and God says fine what you have done is called alignment to a covenant and God begins to relate with you the same way he relates with God's servant Bishop David Oedipo and you will find out mysteriously mysteriously something happened recently somebody called me and they had a court case recently and Jimmy, this court case, humanly speaking, was already against the person. There is no human way on earth he would have won that case. And when he called me, I said, tell me the truth. When he told me everything, ah, I said, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. Because I, I, I know a bit about legalities. And I know that based on that thing, if he's to spend time in the prison, it will be nothing less than 10 years away from his wife and his children. But I told him, I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. But if you can believe what I want to tell you, there can be a way out. I told him, I said, I can pray for you. God has given me grace for territories. And I want to pray for you. I prayed for that guy. Do you know I got to find out he didn't even show up on the day of, because of fear, he didn't show up in the court. 
he refused to show up and later he would tell me that the judge looked and looked at everything and threw away the case from the court now please brothers and sisters please you went to school you are intelligent in nigeria who does that <sighs> you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on the earth you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty the bible says christ is the head of all principalities he recognizes their existence so he says your only advantage is that i am the head not that you say they are not there no it's your bible i'm teaching you spiritual intelligence but many people say assume they are not there are you kidding when they refuse jesus from entering back they say who is this king of glory he had to explain himself christ is the head of principalities he said he has been made above thrones so he recognizes them above dominions and every name that is named not only in this earth but in the world to come what do you not know that is responsible for the devil sinking through your life and making it look like God is not alive please hear what I'm saying a job will not just come because you think you're a Nigerian there are mysteries you have done there are many arrogant pastors in ministry who are suffering this they've done everything to do but the key is an alignment an alignment that opens up spiritual possibilities an alignment those who were in Mina I'm sure maybe my friend Pastor Pete Rock is listening Pete Rock you know I love House on the Rock and all of that when we went to Mina Aaron you were there the same thing you see in Koinonia crowds here overflow on top and then outside is alignment brothers and sisters you may be a musician but you can align to a system that will give you more than songs you will find out that things are opening you are a student but you align to somebody who is paying you salary and they say no you must be sleeping with the man you say no I, I, I just belong to a tribe that has a covenant with God that is respected even by hell let me tell you brothers and sisters what is not at work in your life is still available it takes humility and alignment many people will insult me for what i'm teaching you now because they would think i'm teaching you human worship god is my witness I, I i don't have time for all of those things but you have to be careful who you listen to don't let men do well meaning to deceive you there are systems on earth that represent spiritual possibilities you may argue it and never see certain things happen in your life please hear me look beyond your personal strength and look at the privileges that God has put in the body a body has thou prepared for me a body has thou prepared this koinonia that you look at every time maybe one day I will take out time and share the whole journey so that you will know that this is not just an ambition of a man to have a ministry if I want fame there are easier ways I'm not dull I can write books are we together access to the riches and the blessings of heaven there are covenants you align with that will open you up to possibilities i don't want to begin to give you testimonies upon testimonies hallelujah we're already preparing to buy our land i will not tell you where it is until we buy it some of you will be surprised you will open your mouth and say it's a lie you can't get land like that a property that will swallow cgc how many times in this area because when you catch the keys listen 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 i don't say this to brag i'm challenging you it's, it's not by trying no door opens to shouting it opens to keys god is giving you something now you have been writing jam you are brilliant but it's not working don't stay foolishly and say i i i know this time around i i got 250 no are we together?
possibilities there are men and women who God has put in the body of Christ in territories that's why Satan creates a lot of controversy around their life to fight them so that what you are supposed to receive will not be given to you but as we pray the devil is a liar somebody's door is about to be open rise up on your feet everybody and let's pray we are going to pray three prayer points and I want you to pray it with every every ounce of strength no carelessness no looking around you are going to cry to God prayer point number one Lord I acknowledge that I am limited as a person no matter how spiritual I am as a pastor as an apostle as a prophet as a teacher as an individual I am limited and I come before you with every sense of humility acknowledging my limitation lift your voice and pray Lord I acknowledge Lord I acknowledge I acknowledge that you have built a system you have built a system beyond the personal spiritual progress of a man you have designed this mystery called the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ to lift men to bail them out of captivity you have designed this mystery called the body of Christ Hallelujah. Look up, please. Prayer point number two. I want you to be sincere before God. Mention all the things you know you have tried and done all you know to do but has not changed. Mention it before God because we are about to engage a mystery. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I have prayed over this failure in my family. Nothing has seemed to change. make sure you're praying those online make sure you're praying Ha 
So let hope, let it rise tonight. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Hallelujah. Listen, as holy as man tried to be, there were some things he could not do for himself. So Jesus had to come. And man's salvation now is tied to his alignment to the finished work of Christ. It's a pattern. There are times your victory will be based on the finished work of others not just of Christ but they have cried the cry for you so you don't cry again they have taken the scars for you so you don't take it again but if you do not know Satan will cheat you there are times you will stand before that Red Sea please hear me just the symbol please you stand before the Red Sea and the Red Sea will refuse to part you will you will invoke your personal altar it will not open let me tell you there are stubborn challenges like that in the life of a man you will agree with your wife your husband it will not move when all else fail switch switch remember what tribe you belong to remember the spiritual possibilities that come and say oh god of salvation remember 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 Remember, 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 and all of a sudden, your God will arise not for your sake. Listen, hear me. I don't know if it's a tight booklet of redeemed or living faith, I can't remember which of them. But there was a woman who had been a faithful titan. I don't know if it's redeemed or living faith, one of the ministries she testified armed robbers came to her house and assassins to kill her and kill her husband they stepped into the house they were with guns the man was there his wife was there all that there was was to shoot and there was nothing to do the man just, he knew he was gone all else failed and all the woman did was to bring out her tight booklet and dropped it on the ground remember the covenant is it not your house that was built with my money is it not souls that are saved with my money? Don't waste your time trying to say one day God will come. No, that one day you can create it. The day the pattern is there. As powerful as Jesus was, his heavens were closed until he had to encounter a man the heavens of Jesus did not open because he was called Jesus. It was open based on the covenant that came down to John the Baptist. And so when John the Baptist saw Jesus, he said, behold the lamb. And he said, that's not the issue. My heavens are closed. And he said, suffer it to be so. I can't neglect the pattern. And when John dipped Jesus and brought him out, there was a transference and God responded. The heavens opened and he said, this is my beloved son please hear me it's not as hard as your life makes it look you just don't know what to do we are going to cry and say lord show me what i must do to come out of this challenge in my presence lift your voice and pray there is always something to do koinonia cry show me oh god what is the secret the missing link to my healing ministry the missing link to bring prosperity to my life. Say that 
Thou mountain before the rubber bell, there is a mystery, there is a pattern, there is a mystery, there is a pattern. Let hope rise, darkness when losing your own light. Let hope, let it rise, let it rise, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your own. Hallelujah. Listen, we are going to pray. Please look up, everybody. We are going to pray. Just one more prayer, and I will pray for us. I'd like you to pray. This ground, not I don't mean physical ground, but this mystery called koinonia is, is enshrined in strange covenants that are responsible for possibilities. Now please pay attention. We're about to pray strategic prayer. Are we together? I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I invoke the covenant that is upon this ministry. The possibilities that your appearance the sacrifices are brought i invoke it upon my life pray the covenant of open doors the covenant of his shakina glory access to kings access to strange favor Pastors pray Let it come upon my ministry Oh God Pray Let it come upon my life Say Kamariya Namalana Namasiri Lord, I've written this jam by my strength. I've tried and tried, but I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to make money by my strength. I've fasted, I've sown seed. I invoke the covenant. Lord, I've tried to get a job. I've tried to get a job. It's not working. I cry to the God of heaven. Let hope. Let hope. Let it rise tonight. The covenant of long life. The covenant of honor, strange honor, access to king. Access to nobles, access to royalties, access to power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you pray this next prayer, listen, there will be strange impartations and strange testimonies on people. This, these are testimonies coming from heaven. Are we together? I want you to pray it with all your heart. All your heart. All your heart. Listen. Listen. See. 
that you are part of this great house is no guarantee that you will enjoy the blessings that come it must be intentional proximity is not connection are we together proximity is not connection I have tapped into the covenant that God has had with people who have gone higher than me and they have opened me to strange doors. Realms that I know are not realms that are as a result of my personal prayer life. I'm a product of many anointings, many graces, many spiritual possibilities. Please hear what I'm telling you and step into a strange, I show you a deep mystery many of you will not appreciate it until you struggle and life whips nonsense out of you you will come back to this message and it will make sense to you there are many ministries that are anointed but they may never grow they have done all they need to do they have prayed there are groups there are all kinds of sincere people around you've done all you know to do listen you were not designed to do everything as regards your growth by yourself that's why god put the body did a body has thou prepared a body has thou prepared are we together there are mysteries when a jimmy shared with me the supernatural birth of his wife i couldn't believe it in minutes she had given birth case closed because there are mysteries you engage are we together please hear what i'm saying you see Hope standing. You see Aaron's wife standing. Almost as if they didn't give birth. Right? There is a mystery. What you don't know does not mean it cannot work. You just don't know how to make it work. Are we together? We are going to pray. One last prayer with all your heart. Every area you know must work in your life. Listen, listen, listen. It pleases the Lord when you have testimonies. It pleases the Lord. There are some of us, certain sicknesses are killing us. No matter, you've taken drugs, you've done everything without your imagination. There are, there, are, there are graces that we have seen. Sometimes, all it takes is recognition to say, Lord, I tap into this grace. I shared with you my story when I went to sow a seed to God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko. And when I came out, the Lord asked me, kneel down on the ground, bare ground, that ground. I laid my hands upon it. It's not about idolizing altars and all of that, no. And he said, lay your hands on the ground. I laid my hands on the bare ground. And the Lord said, from this day, you have entered the overflow anointing. Are we together? It was an old woman who prophesied upon my life and said, my son, forever you will walk upon gold. That's what that mama told me. Till tomorrow, to, uh, whether she's a human being or an angel, I don't know. I bought sugar cane of 50 naira. Sugar cane of 50 naira changed my destiny forever. Are we together? You join them, you will die like them. Listen to what I'm telling you. There are many arrogant people in our society who believe they know what they are doing. Even when they are quarter to destruction, they will still be bragging. If you are not seeing results for a long time in your life, please calm down and find out what is it. Thank God for the area you are seeing results. But what of the areas where there are no results? We are going to pray. And you are going to cry to the God of your salvation in one minute. And say, Lord, the unction, the grace, the unction that must land upon my life now for those doors to open if it did not come through my personal prayer life then i take advantage of this spiritual formation that is in this house i take advantage of this spiritual formation are we praying go ahead and pray i'm about to pray for you but pray The anointing that must come upon my life, must come upon my ministry, must come upon my prayer group. The grace. Let it come, oh God, let it come. Let it come, oh God, let it come. 
Let it come, oh God, let it come. Sakata prakata barada bala kosoto praskate. Emprakata kata tata po kosoto prakata barada bosh. Makata pakarata kasekete. Emprakata kata baska bosoto balikata. Pareke teke 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 kotos. Meka praskata barata tia. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Spirit, pray out. Break our walls down. Spirit break out Break our walls down Spirit break out Heaven come down Lift your hands Father I'm about to pray for you Something will come upon your life right now and I want you to believe it. In the name that is above all names. Father, it is by your wisdom and by your orchestration you designed the body. No one designed it and gave it a blueprint. You designed the blueprint of the tabernacle in heaven. And you gave Moses and said reproduce it on earth. And the moment they built according to pattern, your glory came. Lord, there is a spiritual formation in this house that makes for your presence that makes for influence, that makes for honor, that makes for effective prayer lives. And Lord, I pray that that grace in no small way, by covenant, I cry upon you, the God of my salvation, that tonight, oh God, you remember your covenant with this house and that you change the lives of people. Therefore, right now, I pray, I stretch my hands at the count of three. I pray that this grace will come upon people right now. Father, remember the covenant. One. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Wherever you are, I challenge those mountains. Take the anointing. Challenge the business mountain. Take the anointing. Challenge death. Challenge it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Please help them. Inside and outside, I release that grace. The grace that is an incense from the covenant upon this house. Every spirit that has refused to leave your destiny to move forward right now in the name of Jesus. The same way Balaam could not cause Israel. I command that spirit. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the voice of the altar. Be gone now. Be gone now. Be gone now. Be gone now. Shake it. Be gone now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see things leaving the stomach of ladies. Many ladies. This is what I'm saying. Something that looks, I don't know what it looks like, honestly. But I'm seeing it leaving people in strange ways. Lord, let it go. Let it go, whatever it represents. Now, now, now. Let it go. Every sickness. Let it go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Heaven come down. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, those on this road. Just lift your hands, those on this road. Because I just saw a wind move here. Very, very serious formation. And the Lord is saying that this grace, this grace is for supernatural results. That's what is happening. I stretch my hands right now. Right now, right now. All through. All through. Right now. I stretch my hands. All through this row. Remember the covenant, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Take men to deeper levels. Acceleration. Speed. Speed. Speed.
speed spirit break out break our walls down spirit break out hallelujah one last prayer listen it is not to be abused but there are many of us our prophetic dimensions are closed i need to activate it right now there are many men of god here you pray but your your perception is not powerful your your your, your radar I mean, come on now you, you can't be a man of god a woman of god and your perception all your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit are deadened. I want to pray for you. There needs to be a prophetic generation. It's not just about prophesying to people. It's about having a blueprint of the details of your destiny released for you. Are we together? Lift your hands. The last prayer point, inside and outside. Please, listen from you my dear hold your hands to this lady this one stand up i don't know who you people are but there's something i'm seeing i'm seeing a line from all of you it's like you are coming from somewhere is that true hold your hands something will come upon you just you people now i stretch my hands at the count of three let this strange grace come one two three take it take it Take it right now in a strange way. It begins to burn from within your spirit. You will never be the same. Never, 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 never be the same. Lift your hands. I want to pray for everybody now. Please, I'd like you to pray. There needs to, that prophetic dimension has to come alive. Otherwise, there are limitations. God wants to show you things about your destiny but you must have the eyes to see and the ears to hear in the name of jesus father at the count of three i'm praying by the unction of the holy spirit the spirit of prophecy grace that gives men access to portals in the spirit at the count of three take it now one two take it take it take it i open it i open it i open it by the power of the holy ghost i activate dreams prophetic dreams prophetic encounters prophetic experiences hear the voices of the spirit Hear the sounds in the spirit. I release upon you that grace for dreams. Not foolish dreams. Prophetic dreams. Receive it now. Right now. Dreams. Dreams. Visions of the night. Dreams. Strange dreams. Visions of the night. You have no business getting a job before the year runs, but the word can create. You have no business coming out of pain. You have no business, but the word, the Rima word, revealed, backed by the power of God. You have no business being healed today but the bible says to appoint unto them that morning in zion to appoint means to set the date when it happens not only to reveal that it will happen to make it happen hmm. hallelujah praise the lord please hear me shake away unbelief from your mind as we begin to pray don't let the, the devil will use the flesh 
this is not the first time you are attending a miracle service he will tell you this is not the first time men of God are praying for you the moment those things come you have the responsibility of fortifying your mind your refuse reject it you can insist by faith that tonight is my night you can insist by faith Father, the grace that has not come upon my life before tonight is the night it will come. Lord, the dimension that have not been opened to yet, this is the night I will receive. Hear me. Hear me. There are no special days for anybody. It is your faith that makes it special. The Bible said today, if you hear his voice, any day can be that today. Mm. Are we together? Blind Bartimaeus is at the way towards Jericho. And Jesus will be passing for the last time. And the guy would have said one day he will come back again. And he would have missed it. The Bible says he cried. He cried, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus looks at him and with what you would think is sarcasm. He said, what should I do for you? And then he says to regain my sight. And that man regained his sight. Only people who insist with understanding receive anything. Hoping and wishing that God will touch me is a waste of time. We'll share the grace and you'll go back frustrated. But there are people who have come. Some of you have been fasting. Some of you traveled from outside of this nation within this nation with hunger. There are people standing outside, people following online. Why will you allow the service finish and you just go back like that? You are a man of God. You have come from far. Why don't you carry something of substance that you can go back with as a witness that you met with the power of God? Is God speaking to us? One scripture and then we'll pray. Isaiah 61. This is a scripture that is very powerful. The hand of God is moving in overflow one. I continue to see this thing. Overflow one. I'm seeing it's an impartation. It's not just a deliverance. There is a pouring of graces that is coming on specific people. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had ordained the word anointed there is ordained ordained me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives the opening of prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn all not some three to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion giving them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness it says that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified go to verse 4 and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations I believe in the power of God I believe in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I believe in the limitless dimension of what the Spirit of God can do upon it. How shall these things be, Mary said, seeing that I know not a man. He says the power of the highest shall overshadow, not come upon, overshadow. You are under the influence of the Spirit of God. And under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there is nothing that cannot happen. Please listen to me. Under the influence of the Spirit, time can be compressed. Under the influence of the Holy Spirit, there are things that should not happen, but can happen. Now the Lord is that spirit, the Bible says. This Lord we have been talking about is that spirit. Not just the Father seated on the throne. The Lord who delivered the righteous. The Lord who anoints is that spirit. And it says where the spirit of the Lord is, you will know that he is there by the miracles 
you know that he's there not just because you ask him to come alone you are here working miracles I worship you I worship you you are here turning lives around I worship you I worship you you are here releasing destiny I worship you I worship you way make miracle walk promise me light in the darkness that is who you are way make a miracle walk So you know he's in a place not just because you believe by faith but there are tokens there are representations that attest to and validate the fact that he's in the midst of his people listen let me tell you my brothers and my sisters tonight you are in for an encounter you are in for an experience it's a shift in the spirit and i want you to believe we are immersed in an atmosphere of limited possibilities limitless possibilities do not allow the devil to lie to you that your case is so great that god cannot meet you that god cannot touch you let god be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah now but listen i learned this from pastor benny Hinn. i will share this briefly and then we'll begin to pray haven't worked in the healing ministry for more than half of a century benny Hinn shared that one of the challenges he had observed with people when the power of god begins to move is they are not ready to release the pain the sickness the infirmity you will think just because you are in God's presence and you expect him to touch you to heal you he will not take something from you that you are still holding back this mystery was demonstrated in the woman with the alabaster box when she came to Jesus the Bible says it was made of spikenard pure nard a year's wages she broke it at his feet and it became an instrument of worship there are people who come with medical reports they come with pain they are just coming to inform God that this is what they are going through they are not ready for the exchange yet listen this is a very simple but powerful spiritual key when you come to God the Bible says the instruction is to believe that he exists number two that he is the rewarder of them who diligently seek him how does he reward there must always be an exchange your weakness for his strength the miracle the testimony are we together now so you must be able to hand over everything here's how the Bible puts it all my cares and burdens unto you I roll. that's a part of the song that is powerful Lord I come to you with this array of family challenges I'm handing it over to you I don't expect to go empty there are many people whether God touches you or not you will go back full because you didn't give him anything until you transfer the burden the sickness the bible says cast all your cares it didn't say god will do it it is your responsibility to say lord i'm tired of carrying this infirmity i'm tired of carrying this evil report i bring it before you and i cast it down when you are now empty god says i now exchange that which you have brought for what i have brought nobody comes before god empty and God does not come before any man empty. The problem is there must be willingness for the exchange. God.
God will not rest upon you when your hands are full, when your mind is full. Listen, it is very important. You are a man of God here. If all you come to give God is frustration of ministry, Lord, the church is not growing. Lord, this and that, that's, that, mm -mm, that's not the issue. Lord, I hand over everything. time to carry your bills that is killing you and surrender it before him it, listen it's time to take the sickness it's time to take the, all the concerns don't take some and leave some carry everything ah. i cast my crown before the high When your hands are too heavy, you cannot receive anything. You will need to take away, bring the report from your office. Bring the report from a doctor. Bring everything. When you lay it at his feet, you now lift your hand ready to receive the healing, the miracle. You don't come before God just to inform him. No. God is not interested in just being aware. He's interested in doing something. Cast your care. Listen. Coming to God and releasing everything is proof of faith. That you come before him and say, Lord, if you do not help me, I don't know where the house rent is coming from. We are 11 in this family and it's clear that there is a yoke upon this family. You may think, listen, you may think because you are always appearing before him, it means you are casting your care. No. You have to intentionally, consciously say, Lord, I don't want this sickness again. Take it. I'm tired of this life of poverty and failure. I'm tired of this life without results. Are we together now? Yes. And one of the ways that we cast our care is through worship. Another way that we cast our care is through prayer. Very powerful. You can pray and say, Lord, take everything. Take everything. Tired of the burden of ministry. Tired of the burden of my family. This is not how you designed me to work. Take it. And then when you are now empty, remember when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. Are we together tonight? It does not take God anything to lift you. It does not take God anything to bless you. It does not take God anything to cause men to bless and honor and lift you. 
Listen, Benny Hinn said that many people come to his healing crusades and they are ever conscious of their sicknesses, conscious of their infirmity, and even when the power of God is flowing, the fortitude for reception is not there because they are busy meditating. The size of this problem, can God solve it? And God is wondering and saying, who told you, who, who educated you about me? Who told you about me? The Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Tonight, God is able to transform. Tonight, God is able to heal. Hallelujah. To transform and to heal. Apostle, you don't understand the gravity of my situation. That's why. It's your mind and your perception that is being enlarged by the power of darkness. When God comes, the Bible says the mountains keep. Skip. And he clears a way for you. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. I'll give us two prayer points before I begin to minister. And I want us to please pray. Please pray. Hallelujah. The first prayer is you are going to ask the Lord. Listen carefully. You are going to ask the Lord to do something to your faith tonight. I agree and I concur that sometimes the prevailing challenges can be so great and so mighty. You will sit down and begin to wonder in our finite minds, how will God navigate this and bring and birth this miracle for me? Are we together now? This is where the spirit of faith comes. The faith of God. It says, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. You're going to pray, Lord, my faith is strong. I believe you. I believe you. Lift your voice and pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Tonight, my faith is strong. I believe that this is the night, the night when you transform. The night when you heal. The night when you deliver. The night when you turn my family around. Is someone praying? This is the night of your power. The night of your glory. salatas. This beginning of miracles. Did Jesus in the presence of his disciples and manifested his glory. Manifest your glory, O God. Father, help my unbelief. I reject unbelief. They limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God make a way? Can God make a way? You are in ministry. Pray. Tonight is a night when you expand. When you receive. You are in business. Pray. Career. Pray. You are in ministry. Pray. For your family. Pray. Release your faith. Shila barakato salabradigesh. Hallelujah. Listen. Prayer point number two. The Bible says, Ye have not because ye ask not. You have not because you ask not he said ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete ask and you will receive he didn't say give us any day give us this day our daily bread listen when you come to God it is not only important that you are aware of who he is but you must come to God stating specifically 
the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for every time Jesus would meet with a blind man a lame man he would ask them what do you want that you are lame does not mean you want to stand you must be able to verbalize your requests you must be able to communicate listen I know that many of you have written your prayer request but I want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with God open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight lift your voice and pray someone is talking to the Lord communicate your expectation When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. It says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Palabaruta shalabragada baladabo. Kranta lato shalagradira da baladaba. Someone is praying. Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will Please look up. It is not very difficult for a man's situation to change. God is not a magician. You will need to release your faith with understanding. You are before the God of all flesh, the doer, the walker of wonders. He's truly a miracle worker. Please believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. They are not a fabrication of human intelligence. No, no. God can work miracles. God does miracles. God delivers. God heals. God lifts. God transforms. God sets free. That's what his grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay the same. I've touched your grace. My life is 
is changed. I will never preach to say I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never sing to say I've touched your grace. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, listen, don't wait until you are called by prophecy. Don't wait until you are prophesied upon. Let your heart be open to receive. Let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit. I want to pray now. Please listen. Listen to me. The power of God is very strong here. Let's work together now, guys. Deliverance, when kept within the boundaries of the word of God, is powerful. Listen, because for many of us, let me tell you this, I submit to you. Listen, please don't inconvenience the guests. The space is all right. Just, just let them be, please. Listen, it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept that behind many tragedies are spirits please understand this behind many operations listen when jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone Jesus rebuked the water. He rebuked the wind and the water was still. There is no problem that is as a physical problem. There are spirits back of it. Whether it is financial, marital, spiritual. One of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man Please listen to what I tell you. Your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around. And it, yes, there are principles here and there, but hear me, you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with. Are we together? There are, you can only judge situations by what has affected you. The one that has not affected you yet is there. But just because it has not happened yet, you may not know. So the secret is to address the spirits behind it. And not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there. Are we together? When we pray and minister to people, listen, we're, we're, a very, we're a very balanced, Bible-based ministry. And let me tell you this by the Spirit of God. You do not help men when you leave the spirits that is back of their situations to go back with them. Now, I know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of Scripture. This is not what we're talking about. We're talking of liberty that is provable. That you can walk out before the service is done. You are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change.
you can be a man of God here greatly ministry you are anointed but things may not be working and you may just think the issue is just ministry ethics preaching well that is wonderful but let me tell you he said I desire once and again to come to you but Satan hindered us it is not only angels that are on assignment there are spirits on assignment there are demons on assignment there are powers that are on assignment Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 what seest thou four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem and against Israel that these horns have made it that no man doth lift his head he said but I have sent four carpenters it's a reality behind many families are spirits behind many medical reports are spirits behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits oh, oh, oh. shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago he was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him and while I was talking with him as he entered my room I saw a spirit just entering with him and I looked at this dear gentleman lovely adorable wonderful person and I was politely going to hint him to say sir the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem and ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said no 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 don't talk to me about this and that I said that's all right no problem I respect you I do this let me just pray with you that's all I requested from him the last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray and then when he recovered from himself like almost an hour later on he got up and for the next three days this gentleman kept reaching me and said apostle you have rattled my theology what is this doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life listen I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas it's very strange they were bound hand and feet the Bible says at midnight they lifted up their voices they prayed and they sang suddenly there was an earthquake because God himself came and then listen the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake the chains by themselves fell immediately the chains fell he said all doors open not some all doors there was no use of key the key was that chain as the chain fell the doors opened please I like you to pray in one minute father if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation it must live by the spirit and the grace of God lift your voice and pray by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight in the name of Jesus every spirit that is not of the Christ that is back of the situation around my life my family my business my ministry pray hallelujah you see the power of God is already touching people listen I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real they are very very real very real 
Hallelujah. I have met so many spirits in my life. I've had so many encounters. That's not the basis of believing they are there. Scripture already tells us they are there. But let me tell you, they are there. And they are not there doing nothing. They are there causing pain. They are there manipulating families. They are there projecting things that are not of the Christ. But the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray. I want to begin to pray now. Please listen. Whether or not you are an usher, I'd like you to help those under the anointing. We're going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering. Um, please participate in the prayer. Prayer is very powerful when done with understanding. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people. Because there are real spirits behind people's situations. Hallelujah. First, I want you to bring out now. I'm not going to say anything. God is giving me an instruction. The power of God. I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people. And these are spirits. And when that happens, the power of God will come upon them. I want you, whether outside or inside, just begin to bring them out here. We're going to pray and call on that name now. But the Lord is revealing to me. You will be very surprised. Some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. All right, we're ready to pray. Please lift your hands. Let me pray now. I'm seeing fire. That fire is coming on people as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, as you shout that name, Jesus, I declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives, over bodies, over finances, over destinies, I invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant. It must go now at the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. I cause darkness by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, 
I command the powers that be by the blood of eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit. I come against it by the God of Cheshuron. Hey, Lakatosia, please bring them out. We release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. We are still praying, my God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Over families. Over businesses. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave. The spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare right now. Anyone covenanted to the power of the grave. The covenant with death. The covenant with the grave. By fire. May that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave. The covenant with death. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be liberated now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Now listen. We are going to pray for the sick. But I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth fibroids. Malignant growth, cancerous tissues by the spirit of the living God. Let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God in the name of Jesus. I command those growths to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Growths. I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone, including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in. And we will never settle for less. We know everyone here in front 
in this overflow and all the overflows I declare that the spirits that lay claim upon any aspect of your life I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever out of their homes forever out of their bodies forever hallelujah please pay attention we are still praying now the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock this is a sign of stagnation you are here and mysteriously you have been in the same position you try to move you try to push I'm about to smash that gate to pieces not to open it to stamp it down he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder now help them please listen I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men by systems by spirits so that you cannot move by this shout of tequila tonight I declare every gate crushed and comes down now are you ready at the count of three one two three I prophesy to you move forward go forward go forward Forward, stagnation comes to an end. Ritro apakoto shala, rekete kete kete, parus kaba, embreketo sheleto sabaka. Stagnation comes to an end. Retrogression comes to an end. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry. Don't force and rush those who are standing in front. You're Bukola. Where are you coming from? Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. Listen, my dear. In the name of Jesus, this chain that I'm seeing, be loose now. In the name of Jesus, I lose you from that chain. It is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone, you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth. Stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. This, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these Bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I would just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank, you are a staff. Huh? No. 
you are not a staff of first bank you are on contract is that true you're on contract i'll still pray this person i'm seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank i want to pray for you because i'm seeing something that can cost you your job father show this my dear brother mercy by the grace of god look at me sir i'm seeing a whirlwind on your head i need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation i declare in the name of jesus you are set free now and you are free forever in the name of jesus please make sure you are observing the ladies the power of god is going to come on one that's the instruction god is giving me it's very mighty anointing when it comes on that one i want to pray for them your father is a general in the army who is that your dad is a general in the army i need to pray we need to rebuke conspiracies the lord is showing me your father is it a general in the army real army military please if you are that person i want you to come if you are that person i want you to come I want to pray for you this is conspiracy in the name of jesus over her family let there be a mighty deliverance in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out in the name of jesus christ may the lord himself give you testimonies very strange testimonies in the name of jesus christ god bless you the lord is showing me a vision i'm seeing a family of five ladies there's no marriage one two three four five five ladies nobody has settled down where are you please come where are you coming from my dear from joss i want to pray you are five of you all alive five ladies no one has settled down what do you do contract staff with sterling bank wait sterling bank, sterling bank. Yes. you will leave the bank soon Amen. listen to me there is another job that is coming for you when that job comes don't fight it is the will of god you hear what i'm saying i'm not saying you should go and retire now but i'm telling you that another job is coming let's pray it's not normal we need to break this i'm seeing three ladies in my vision i don't know why there's only one person here these five five families please make sure you don't tell lies don't just come and stand here if it's not i will pray for everybody five families no not one person has settled down ladies now don't cry my dear jesus is in this place release the family now release the family now i'm looking at this lady and i'm seeing coals of fire and i'm seeing a horn on it release the family now there is someone here this is a very mysterious thing that happens to you in a very strange way this happens especially when you pray for extended periods your whole body starts itching you in a funny way you know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug chloroquine that's what happens to you like physically you begin to scratch your body i must pray for you why is she here please you are the one come madam you too where are you coming from ma you are coming from abuja come we we'll attend to the photos you are holding here eh? but for now we need to pray for you this is this is not just evil very evil i have to pray for you you too my brother where are you coming from God. you see my dear people i'm no i'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the the issue I just saw fire this row right down just like a sword of fire just passed i don't know who that is for but in the name of jesus let it bring emancipation right now right now in the name of jesus look at me my dear you believe in jesus i bring you life from this kingdom that we represent be free now from this demonic satanic oppression in the name of jesus 
Her dear auntie, let me pray for you. Just keep her there. Can you hold my hands, madam? I want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names. Help her. Be free right now. I cause the workings of darkness over your body and over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Five families, hold my hands. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I'd like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a family now, God is breaking the plague of death. The power of God is coming. I don't know whether they are inside or outside. The plague of death is being broken right now. There is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death. Please come very quickly. I'll just touch you. I don't know why they are here, but we have to hurry up very quickly. Just a touch. Believe by faith. It is over. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir, where are you coming from? from Abuja. From Abuja? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm a minister. You're a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come, your state of origin? Kakwaibo. Do you plan to go this Christmas? I'm not yet, but I'm not. Huh? I'm, I, I went for operation. Sort of. Listen, that's what I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man, and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men that you are alive. But then, I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. We, anything God shows, we cancel. You get the point now? I'm seeing this man going in a bus, and I'm seeing a truck. I will not mention, I'm not being antagonistic, but the truck did not just shift your car. It climbed it, and everybody gone like that. You see, when God shows a thing, it is because of the strength he has put in his church. The power to change it completely. Are we together? I want to pray for you. You are very sick. And even the surgery has not solved the problem. Because what I'm seeing is still there. Please hold my hand, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, let this man not be given to the sword. Let him not be given to the grave. In the name of Jesus, I knock on the door of life and I speak to you, sir, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. I fortify you by the power of God's word and I declare death will be far from your dwelling. I speak that your going out is blessed and safe. Even your coming in is blessed and it is safe. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord show you mercy continually. In Jesus' name I pray. Family of five. I need to pray. Hold my hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Yahweh. Oh, yeah, yeah, say, In the name 
name of Jesus, I lose you and your siblings. Everything that is an orchestration of darkness, I speak by the spirit of the living God. You are loosed now in the name of Jesus. I declare liberty. I restore dignity and honor. What is happening to you? I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going down here. There's somebody, the same thing is happening to someone there. The same thing God is doing here, God is doing to a lady there. I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus. Please come, sir. Let me just touch you by faith. In Jesus' name, be set free. Come. In Jesus' name, be set free. 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 There is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super ruskiata. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners. Is, this, is a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation, eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra the power of God is touching that woman right now who is the person mommy you're welcome one to pray ah. not everything that looks like sickness is sickness there are many things that are projections of darkness are we together? Mommy, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Help her, please. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, release our mother in the name of Jesus. Mommy, I command that infirmity, that plague and that yoke of darkness be gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just pray for these two people now. This lady, where is she coming from? Okay. There is, it will surprise you how the grace for intercession will come on you. This lady, this fair lady, I'm talking to you. In the name of Jesus, I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. May that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder. The Lord will show you things in your dreams. He will show you things in visions. Please bring our mommy for me. Let me pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, just touch her back for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now. This is not sickness. This is the spirit of death. I command the spirit of death, hell and the grave. To leave our mother right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Complete emancipation. Complete emancipation. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here. I don't know why, but this is what he's saying. Just right here to the wall. 
I'm seeing I'm seeing people's stomach, the abdominal region. I'm seeing things like chains. Just bring those under the anointing as I'm talking. I'm seeing things like chains. These are devils of infirmity. The Lord is asking me to just stretch my hand. Please just allow me to do my madness with God here and let the Lord set these people free. Please bring them out. We're hurrying up now in the name of Jesus. Karu salatu ziata. Kari zahashalam barita subahaseketa. Kradu saletu shala sabahashalata ziakata. Rakata barada balakata prata sadebekatu shala branda skabariata. I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact. Every planting that is not of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free from it now. Yeah. Hallelujah. The power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies. One of these ladies with the jerseys. I'm seeing an anointing. I know you are ministering, but this is a miracle God is bringing for you, for your family. One of the ushering ladies. I don't know whether they are inside, outside. I'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies. This is, this is liberty that God is bringing right now. Shalus Karita Hasubadia. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Shame and reproach is living your life now. Shame and reproach is living your life now. The garment of shame and reproach is living your life now. Why is this gentleman here? You are under the anointing outside? Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come. You lifting your hands. Run. Come. Your time of change has come. Where are you coming from? Coming from Ondo State, I'm in Copa. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. That's why you are here. Do you know me? I don't know you. That's why I'm saying you just relax. You were in the crowd and God brought you here. Do you know why God brought you here? Because things are not working at all in your family. God needs to turn things around. If I don't pray for you, what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family. But the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Let me pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. What did you study? Medical laboratory science. Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I'm, work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm serving an NGO mm. for HIV in Ondo State. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Period. There is a grace. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Kashina, Sir King Sarakuna. Let's pray. Listen, it's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. 
Sarkin Sarakuna. Father, please. I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year. God wants to take one year five years and put in one month is it not written in your bible that i will restore the years god does not only restore things he restores time whoever can restore time must be god himself are we together in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now everyone under the sound of my voice inside outside parushalata i declare at the count of three father let this grace for speed restoration the mystery that gains time may that grace fall upon people within this auditorium overflow one two three four online in the name of jesus receive that grace one two three take that grace now Speed, restoration. I prophesy, pursue, overtake without fail, recover, pursue, overtake without fail, recover in career, pursue in marriage, pursue in ministry, pursue. I'm speaking by the spirit, pursue, overtake, recover, pursue. Help that woman, please. Overtake take recover financially pursue overtake recover in your influence pursue overtake recover in your academics i pray for students pursue overtake recover pursue overtake recover Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person. By the person's self, mysteriously by the Spirit, there is a prophetic word, and this is how God told me, it's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. Nah, nah, nah. It will happen by the spirit. They will come out by themselves. A strong anointing is not something you can resist. Th this is a sign and a wonder. How God does it, I don't know. Sarkin Sarakuna. There are three more people. That's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind. It's a force of the spirit. The wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him, limited him, limited him. Please help them, make sure they don't injure themselves. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. Kashina, 
ones that have come out by the spirit I'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet I'm seeing their legs specifically their legs with chains I lose you now in the name of Jesus I release you to destiny I release you to destiny I release you to destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost no more delay no more retrogression by the spirit of the living God The force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes, my friend, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way, and I'm seeing a gate open before you, and night is at your back and day is in your front i prophesy to you what i'm seeing and to everyone who connects with this prophecy i take night behind you and i command your morning to stand before you i take night behind you and i command the sun to shine before you in the name of jesus christ Everyone lift your voice, say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, I am breaking limits. I am moving forward. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Breaking limits. In the name of Jesus, I make progress. Is someone praying? I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Hali shalaha sakata bragadoshia. Ekretus kaba shalada barutis. Empre koto shole brahasada rabaladaba. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing, shifting you by the spirit. Step into a new dimension. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Na Na Na. new dimensions we want to pray for the sick now listen very carefully I believe in miracles there are people here who are standing trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives their bodies tight there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here I'm seeing impartations real graces impartations coming by the spirit impartations people are drinking of wines Ima lift your hands I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus hold your hands two of you please help them take that grace in the name of Jesus amplify the grace you step into new dimensions in the spirit the spirit and the power of the word your words from today will be like fire fire refine us fire Sir, 
akin sa rabuna Na 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 Sa akin sa rabuna Dan, come Hold my hands Grace is given for you to rise no more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change, change like day and night. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen, there are things here written that are death sentences. There are things written here that will take only God to provide a miracle for. There are things written here that are age-long captivities. Some of them even predate our coming to the earth. But there is a name that is above every other name. The Bible says, Wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him an office, a name, a title. The Bible says that at the mention of that name, everything in the earth in heaven under the earth will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father I cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this this is not a ritual there is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here and one more time and the last time really for this year I want us to agree in the next two, three minutes. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Every evil report, orchestrations of darkness, if it had a beginning, tonight is the end. Pray. Don't worry, for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to, just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray. Jesus, 
we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Father, we bring before you every situation here. Marital situations, financial situations, spiritual situations, career situations. In the name of Jesus, we bring them under the covering of the blood. Every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name father by this prayer we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against god's people we declare them nullified forever I stand as one sent by the Spirit of the Lord and I declare, receive strange testimonies. Before this year runs out, in the name of Jesus, let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies. Testimonies are largely answered through men hmm. when it leaves heaven most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form there are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form i'm praying every human agent that must partner with god partner with the systems of God to see to it that this request is granted. We compel them by the Spirit to do so now. In the name of Jesus. Every death sentence written here. In the name of Jesus, we cancel it now. Hallelujah. Let it be done. So shall it be. We establish it. In the name of Jesus. Now, we want to round up by prophesying over our lives. This for me, you've heard me say this is the best part of the service. Because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life. Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith. Believe it and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. I 
and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from god that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which god has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen. Is a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning. Leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Prepare.
shared blessings that take you to realms 10 years put in one month I release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some canal show of wealth no they are time redemption systems understand what they are they seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of Jesus the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of Jesus I pray for every family represented here the sound of mourning the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God let it come to an end this night everything that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest I compel it to begin to walk now you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough, we call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may God give them to you here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the spirit of God a restoration happens now <laughs> thou shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory the remaining weeks of this year I'm speaking to you may they be weeks of strange wonders and finally let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of Jesus 
finally anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family the hands he came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household i pray for you because the bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore i speak over you it is well i declare over you all is well in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimonies you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here in the name of jesus very quickly you are here under the sound of my voice please let's minimize movement and you're saying apostle I want you to give me an opportunity to give my life to Jesus Christ. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've seen the wonder-working power of God. I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life. Hear me. The Bible says, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Praise the Lord. Whether you are here inside or outside, there are people here who are saying, Apostle, I need Jesus. There are others who are saying, Apostle, I need restoration of my relationship with Jesus. It is never too late to reconnect with him. Now, whether you are here, let's minimize movement, whether you are here inside or outside, we cannot close this meeting. This is the last miracle service for the year. Wherever you are, whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time, inside, outside, overflow, one, two, three, I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here. Sustain the boldness to come. Don't be ashamed. Let's celebrate them as they come, Koinonia. Those coming from outside, please clear the way for them. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Keep coming. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. The Bible says, For God so loved you and me, he proved his love by giving, not taking giving his one and only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of god you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came i want you to know that there is a god who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say lord jesus please if you're joining us quickly come quickly come find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart say with me again lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe join them quickly say i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God amen 
keep your hands lifted while I pray for you father thank you you have brought this once by your spirit you are able to save to the uttermost scripture says thank you for drawing these ones I decree and declare by the Spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood I declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning from tonight I declare that you go forward ever and backward never the power to love and serve Jesus is released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen now very quickly there are a number of you um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands you can follow this aisle or this one whichever will take you to the same place please follow them as we celebrate them there will be a group of people to just receive you and just share a few things with you and you'll be back is this the best you can do koinonia hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son Attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you <laughs>